the dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Chief of Staff to the President, Bola Amari Tunobo, Femi Bajabiamila, said that social media has become a societal menace and it must be guided. Moving on to the next one, we have President Bola Amari Tunobo has directed the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security to release about 42,000 metric ton of maize. But before we proceed with this news, welcome to Reality Strategies, your home of news and politics. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. If this is your first time of watching, please do us a favor to like and subscribe and also share. You can send in your comments and keep the conversation lively in our comment section. To all our amazing subscribers, thank you so much for joining. The Chief of Staff to the President, Bola Amir Tunubu, Femi Bajabiamila, said that social media has become a societal menace and it must be guided. He said this at a book launch in Lagos State on Thursday. According to a statement released by Tunde, Allow the senior special assistant to Governor Babajide Sanwolu, the office of the Lagos State Deputy Governor. Femi Bajabia Miller said social media has become a societal menace and it must be regulated. As many people do not understand that once the send button is hit, that there is a potential to reach millions of people around the world, which is capable of causing a great danger, not just in the society, but even unintended consequences to the individuals that are receiving information, which may include security of life. The here is they should regulate because social media is airing the truth they have been hiding. They can't keep the people silent. They should do the right thing that is the truth. If the right thing is being done, social media will not be a problem right now we have other things to settle they should regulate the crumbling economy they should leave social media that is exposing you know their incompetency and corruption that is the reason why they want to ban it food is 650 dollar is one five food inflation price is 300 percent and social media is the problem how there are so many things they have to regulate they should regulate poverty hunger high standard of living suffering Salary and not social media where, you know, we used to speak the truth. Once they get to office, the next thing is to, you know, make the citizen cry. This APC government is really terrible. Seriously, because people are suffering. They have become a cancer eating deep into the economy of the nation. And they have reduced the nationalism to nothing. They should better get the priority right. People are hungry and they are here telling us they want to regulate social media. If they are actually working... They won't be bothered about social media. They would have ignored it and do their job. Has freedom of social media stopped the UK, US, French, Canada, German government from working? These people in power just focus on the wrong thing to max and cover their inadequacy. If you know they like, they should disable the data access in Nigeria. It will stop the people from recognizing the failure of the government. They just focus on how to get things right. They are only interested in caging freedom of speech the more. This is coming from a party that ruled on freedom of speech when they allowed Jonathan to come into power. They occupied Nigeria protests. Numerous protests were allowed by Jonathan and that helped APC come into power. Now they want to cage all that because they cannot pay for So social media has become their problem. But how to fix the economy and solve security problem is not their own problem. What a hopeless, you know, statement because they should stop making excuses and do their job. A lot of our youths are creatively and legitimately generating income on social media. They have empowered themselves, so the government should face their work and do the right thing. So guys, let me know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Moving on to the next one. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu has directed the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security to release about 42,000 metric ton of maize, millet and other commodity in strategy reserves to address the rising cost of food in the country. The Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, said this on Thursday at the State House in Abuja after a meeting of the Presidential Committee on Emergency Food Intervention. Idris said that the Rest Millers Association of Nigeria has also committed to release about 60,000 metric tons of rice to the market. The first one is that the Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security has been directed to release about 42,000 metric ton of maize, millet, gary, and other commodity in their strategy reserves so that these items will be made available to Nigerians. Then the second one is that 
they have held meeting with the rice miller association of nigeria those are responsible for producing the rice and they have asked them to open up their stores the rice miller told them that they can guarantee about sixty thousand metric ton of rice that they will make that available to nigerians to bring out to the market to make food available Idris also said that there is an option of importing these grains if it becomes absolutely necessary as an entry measures. His comment comes on that same day that the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajudi Abbas, pleaded with Nigerians over the cost of living, saying the lawmakers feel their pain. The Speaker adds to the growing list of government officials who have repeatedly urged Nigerians to be patient over the reforms which President Bola Ahmed Tinubu says he will bring in from foreign investment to Africa's largest economy. But the short-term impact is hitting Nigerians hard. Inflation was at 28.92% in December, with food costs at 33.93%. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, the Naira has fallen swiftly against the U.S. dollar since the government a multi-exchange rate system and freed up the local currency. But before the reform, the Naira was trading at around 450 to the dollar. The question here is the 42,000 metric tons from which reserve. Hey, these people don't rate us at all. If politicians could hold palliative, that is not just from hungry Nigerians during a pandemic, I wonder if this will actually get to the masses in need. The palliative they distributed to the state government months ago ended up with politicians' families and friends. So now the distribution is due to the fellow APC members, all for Nigerians. And besides, will the price be different from the amount they sell these things in the markets? During President Mohamed Buhari's regime, he seized about 956 bags. So now, are they releasing it to where? To who? So let's know. Will this come at cheaper rates to what we have in the market now? The products are in the market, but expensive. So if these ones will still be expensive, it will not make any sense. But I don't think this will change something for the needs of the citizens. This is not what they need actually at this moment. Distributing it for how long? Or is this for this moment? Is that the solution? After that one finished, what next? I guess he will keep ordering release of food items he never protected farmers to grow. Farmers that are being killed in their farms with a watch. So guys, let me know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in the comment section. We'd love to hear from you. Let's keep the conversation lively in our comment section. Once again, thank you all so much for staying tuned with us. We really do appreciate it. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. Till I come your awareness. Stay safe, guys. Bye.